before I say goodbye, I have to tell you the end of the story. So here we go. Gasp! It was revealed that Maria, one of Olivia's servants, had written the letter as a prank to get back at Malvolio for his arrogance. And not that this is important, just a tidbit, but Sir Toby married her as a reward. <laughs> Malvolio left in a huff and vowed revenge, but Orsino sent a man after him to calm him down and to get my real clothes back. Once that had happened, we would have a double wedding. Orsino also insisted on calling me Cesario as long as I was dressed as a man, but as soon as I had my women's clothes back, he, I would be the queen of his dreams. Seriously, it was so insecure in his masculinity that he was afraid to call me his queen until I was back in a dress. Those of you who didn't recognize me might understand where he's coming from, but I definitely don't get it. Clothes don't define who you are. Your heart does that. I have one more addition to the story that many of you know so well of me. Yes, I did marry Orsino because despite some of his misconstrued views about women, I did truly love him. However, let me tell you that his decision to call me Cesario until I was back in a dress was not something that I let quietly happen. He didn't get to make decrees about my identity based on the clothes that I was wearing. For some reason, that little argument didn't make the final cut of the famous story. Not for some reason, really. I think that you and I both know that if I had been in charge of telling my story, that is how it would have ended. Unfortunately, men were in control of conveying it to you, and my thoughts seemed to be missing entirely. I hope that this little addition I have given you helps you to see my story in a new light. I also hope that it helps you to remember to question who's writing the stories you're reading in order to understand the lens they have been written through and the biases that impact them. Never let anyone squash your identity or take charge of your story because trust me, when I tell you that I would much rather hear your version. As I hope you've heard mine. <laughs>